I'm at Elliott Stadium in Sydney in the Gervin War corporate box. And when he's not out on his bike or kicking goals in the business world, you can find Wallaby number 708 Warwick War right here on match days. Good to see you. Good to and see there's still you. a connection with the Waratahs. Yeah, mate, we, uh, we don't miss a game here from our, our suite and our office. Uh, we've put a few personal touches here and um, it's fantastic to come and watch what Czech's doing with the team. Now, as a player, you played for the Waratahs, Brumbies, and Reds, 29 Super Rugby Caps, eight tests for the Wallabies, 93 to 97, including the 95 Rugby World Cup in South Africa. What's your best memory? Oh, mate, there's too many to mention, but probably one of my fondest memories is here in, right here at the stadium, 93, uh, the test match against South Africa, my debut. Um, huge, first, uh, first night game, actually, at the, uh, at the stadium, and just, just to run out in front of 40,000 people and, uh, and feel that, that energy was amazing. Unfortunately, we lost, but it was a bloody good, good memory. And there's the ball still, Dick Waddick won. Who drove over, no wonder he's delighted. You were there for the crossover from amateur to professional rugby in 1996, so what was that like? Fascinating times. We, uh, with the WRC trying to get off the ground and, uh, and the AAU almost having their hand forced, we, were, we went from amateur to professionalism very, very quickly. Uh, at, at, we're trying to do, have our own jobs, keep our jobs and get paid to play rugby. It was all a bit too good to be true. Um, but we went from having a couple of beers on a Friday night before the game and training twice a week to training full time. And, uh, and we were suddenly very accountable for our sport rather than just doing it for fun. Warwick, how do you make a living nowadays? Well, I've got a company with another guy, Michael Gervin, Gervin Wall Constructions, and we're a commercial design and construct company. We've uh, got a good little portfolio of clients, uh, Sydney Cricket Ground Trust, the Australian Turf Club, Ramick Racecourse, and uh, so, yeah, good group of clients. You're back in serious training nowadays, not to play rugby, but to ride across America. So tell us about RAM, R-A-A-M. Well, as the name suggests, we're heading from the east coast to the west coast of America um, over about seven days. It's, uh, it's, it, it's going to be tough. Uh, one of the gentlemen that put it together, his daughter passed of asthma when she was 10 years old very suddenly and off the back of that he started a charity about three years ago. Uh, this year, because of the World Cup, we're putting together, or they have put it together, a team with some English and British rugby players, Colin Charvis, Paddy Johns, uh, John Hall from Bath, to name a few. Um, and we're getting together on the 21st and, uh, of June and we're, we're riding across America, so it's going to be a great challenge. Well, Warwick War, thank you very much for your time and all the best with your fundraising and charity work. And just remember one thing, they drive on the other side of the road in the US. Thanks, Hello. Greg. Yeah, I'll learn that pretty quick, I'd say. Very, very good advice there. Uh, great work from Warwick War and he's hosting a no-holds-barred lunch with Stuart O'Grady to help raise money for charity. Uh, Stuart promising to lift the lid on some issues that he's never talked about publicly before. I'd like to be a fly on the wall with that one. Go to the website if you would like to donate to the Ruck and Rollers.